What is it? Are you mad? Don't buy a camera. Me too. Buy a car. Or you at it down. You cannot camera in me. Camera in you at it. Uh huh. Because now me you don't talk anything. Then I use them. You go. You go do like this for you. If you do, Mister, I go do. It's a new day here in Cotonou, Benin Republic. Welcome back to the video, guys. How are you guys doing? Hope you are enjoying my Cotonou video so far. So today's video is totally just going to be random. And we're just walking around the street and just going to have a look at how the streets of Cotonou look like. Um, like I said in my previous video, this is my second time in Kotonou. The first time I came actually was in 2019. I didn't really do much. This is like the second time. So 2022, let's see how it is. I'm around the place they call Tokpa, which is around like the market area. We are going from here to explore a little bit more of the city, other areas. People are looking at me, probably thinking I'm crazy. Like, who is this girl just walking here randomly making videos? Anyway, it is what it is. Let's go have a look and remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed already. Um, share the video, drop a comment. You see, it's quite busy here. Vehicles, motorcycles, people hawking. Let me show you guys. So you see, this is a very busy area. This is where the market, street hawking. It's such a big deal in Africa. Everywhere you go, you find people walking. Traffic here. The, the market is beautiful. But people would rather sell on the streets than stay right inside the market. <laughs> Everything. Saba, Mama. Saba. <laughs> Pharmacy. the name of this area if you are watching and you know the name drop a comment and tell us but I'm just exploring to see this is a roundabout looks quite busy okay let's let's cross to that side and see what that side looks like those are brass being sold there and some other clothes Another thing here in Cotonou, you see they, they hook clothes on the head, like they hang the clothes, they put the clothes on the hanger and then hook it on their heads, like you see over there. You also notice a lot of street food being hooked, like street snacks being hooked in Cotonou when you come here. There's another one. Yeah. Looks like over there is an open space where people relax. I don't know, but it's just an open space over there. Then another signage here. Let's see what this means. to go to the city center let's go and see what the city center looks like what is it are you mad how friendly guys this is the city center it's just a roundabout so this is what it looks like 
this is um, the artisanal center. So this way in. Let's go have a look. It's actually not even far from the city center there. It's a walking distance. But since I'm not familiar with the place, I had to come on bike. And the man took 300 for me from where he picked me. It's all good. Let's go see. This place here looks cool. Like, looks like maybe an event center. Look at that. Looks like an event place. Here says bar and lounge. See, I can already see the arts and all. So let's go inside and have a look. One thing with Kotonu is it's so calm and peaceful, quiet. And I love that there are trees everywhere. So it's always very refreshing and you don't get to sweat. And the sun is not uh, scorching. So you can even walk and still enjoy walking around let's start from here well, right here we have one of the artists working on his craft that's a woodwork bon travail mm -hmm. and then we have a, more of the art craft the the woodwork and some metal okay is this one to your own Okay, these are more of his um, pieces here. These are some African women there. Then we have some stoves. Okay, let's go. I have one of my... Um, Someone there was calling on me. I guess he speaks English, so let's go. Bon travail, ça va? Yeah. So he was calling me. You speak English, right? Small. Okay. Bon travail, ça va? Well done. So these are your own works. Okay. Some masks behind him there. See, um, you can take backpack and more masks there. We have here one of the artists and a shop owner. He wants to show us his shop. Okay. 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 One thing is. All the countries I've been to in Africa so far, the artworks always look similar. It's either woodwork or metalwork, brass. Yeah, this is a beautiful woman. I like this. Hmm? Okay. Let's see some more up there. And I guess the similarity is also because we trade um, amongst ourselves. So people come to Benin to buy, to go and sell in Cameroon, to sell in Togo, Ghana, and vice versa. So uh, I guess that explains the similarity of the art that you see in the artisanal market that you get to visit. OK. What do you call this one? Batik. We call it Batik. Batik. OK, yeah. And then those are some Batiks, Batik art there. You made it yourself? No, my brother. Oh, your brother. OK, OK. We have more over there. <laughs> ah, look at this. I thought it was a human being sitting here all this while. Meanwhile, it's a statue. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> this shop here has lots of metal. This is brass. This place here, this shop here has lots of brass work. This is, these ones are gongs, local gongs. That's a beautiful Nigerian bride there. <laughs> 
proud moment. Yeah, and then inside here, you see a lot more. Mask, mask. So if you love African arts, when you visit Benin Republic, Kotonou specifically, this, this is the place that you can come and, you know, explore and even get to buy um, a lot of African art pieces. West African art, to be specific. I just saw this ring here, see? A brass ring. Africa. Africa, yeah. Since I've been traveling, I've, I went to Sierra Leone, I went to Cameroon, I've been checking. I always ask, they, they rarely sell rings, but here in Benin Republic, I've, I've seen, uh, let me see, like, no, let me see the other Africa ring, yes. See, these are um, costume brass rings. I've seen it here in this market today. I don't, I didn't see in Cameroon. Okay, he wants to show me more. I've not checked in Nigeria, so I can't tell, but in Cameroon, in Sierra Leone, I didn't see. So, where is the other one? Yeah, so these are <clears throat> some of the rings. How much do you sell it? This one, last, last price, 10,000 sefa. 10,000 sefa. Hey, guys, this is 10,000 sefa. And that's also like 10,000 naira. Hey, it's expensive. So they told me that when you walk down this way, you are going to see more shops. Like, you see one here, and then there's like a restaurant here where you can grab a meal or a drink when you come. I can see that way, like more stores that way. And this way, of course, all the way to that side. Let's walk along this street that has a lot more shops. Bonjour. These are a lot more stores here. One thing with the people here is they're so friendly. They see you passing, Saba, Saba bien. When they sense that I'm not French or I don't speak French, they try to make efforts to speak English with me. They just automatically guess that I'm from Nigeria. And that's not uh, wrong because we are their neighbors and I guess a lot of Nigerians come to um, Kotono to visit. So it's only right that once they hear me speak English, they'll guess that. I'm from Nigeria. Yeah, so I think I can see an exit gate over there. Look how beautiful calabash is there. <laughs> Guys, I guess we are going to exit the market from this gate here. Like I said, we're just exploring uh, the city today, kind of seeing what it has to offer. And yeah, so far so good. I'm enjoying the things I'm seeing in the market here. So let's go see where next we are going. Totally unscripted, totally unplanned. But let's see. Remember to subscribe if you've not subscribed, okay? And share the video, drop a comment. Let's go. So, we are still touring the where, where? streets, like I said. Yeah, no, no, no. What's your name? My name is a uh, uh, sheriff. Sheriff? Oh, yes. You be Nigerian, you uh, be Kotonou person? Uh, I be Kotonou person. But you don't speak Yoruba? Uh, small, small. Okay, which side of Kotonou you, you are? In? Which part of Benin Republic you from? Hey, this one, it passed me small. See the talk, something where I talk now for the Yoruba, I go here. Yeah. You be Kotonou, you be Benin Republic person. Uh, which which will be your tribe? Uh, but I've been a 
Nigeria, my father is in Nigeria. Okay. My mommy is in Beninua. Okay. okay. Hear me. Your mommy, which language did they talk? Yeah, uh, mommy, they, they talk for, for? Uh, uh, Yoruba. Okay. So you, they speak Yoruba, they speak for? Uh, which? Okay. English, small, small. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this side we are now in Misebo. Eh, uh, now Misebo. Misebo. Uh -huh. So it's, a, it's also a market. Like I told you guys, we are just touring the streets of Kotonou today. And then I found myself I here my in jacket. Misebo. Wow. And in Misebo here, what do they sell? What do they sell? They sell everything. Jeans, t-shirts, suits, costumes, gowns. Everything, everything we go see for here, everything better, better. So okay. where they find better, you go see for here. No be China, okay. better or clicker, okay. better you go see up. Second hand. Uh -huh. Okay, now so here where you go see for here. Like thrift, it's a thrift market. Uh -huh. here, nah, better market. Where you get to buy imported second hand stuff. Uh -huh. nah, so. Okay. I can hear Nigerian music play. Uh -huh. you go, you go drums. Go, go. That's go there. <laughs> so let's go down and see what it looks Pass like the in there. Down. We will take my camera. Hey, yo, yo, yeah, that's something where they do for you. What happened? Okay. So all this place now, now all the bags. My place. Where your place? Now here yeah, now. Sheriff says he sells jeans, t-shirts. Yeah. He wants us to go and see his shop. So let's go and see. Sorry. Go buy a camera. Me too. Buy your car. Ori eti da. You cannot camera in me. Camera in you eti. Aha. Because now me don't talk anything. See now you said you go you go do like this for you. If you do me, I go do. I no be. So that's Sheriff. That's here my shop. So this your shop. Now my place. Now now something where they sell. I sell everything. I sell t-shirt. I sell jeans. I sell uh, now bon, jeans, t-shirt, dockers, and something where they sell. Now my place. Now my place. Now here where I did. See, go come from London. You come for here. You go see me for here. Everything where they sell for here. I sell jeans. To buy, are they here? Yeah. I said better thing. Okay. 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 That's what you are saying. Okay. These are the shots. That's what you are saying. So I've decided to rest at this restaurant here and have a drink. So this is small. Okay. Yeah. So I've decided to rest at this restaurant here and have a drink. So this is small. And what's that for And this is basically how they serve me. No straw, no cup. They just handed it to me in a bottle like this. So I'm drinking it like this.
my first meal for today. I decided to place order for a Benin food. And this is what is on the menu. This is a cheke, fish and a cheke, fish and some sauce here. If you know what a cheke is made from, let me know. It looks like gari, I'm not sure. But they call it a cheke. So if you know, drop a comment. I can't wait to taste it and see. Looks yummy, right? Tastes good. It looks like it's made from cassava. Some something like gari. I don't know. What is it made from? We've had a very busy day today and it's evening now so I'm about to retire back to base. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed watching and I made a friend. Come um come on to tap her. Brenda. Brenda. Hey, okay. Brenda is um one of the attendants at the restaurant where I ate and relaxed. Yes, so Merci beaucoup. She also offered to um walk me to the road and help me get a bike to where I'm going. So Mexico. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you enjoyed, drop a comment, like, share and I'll see you in my next video, okay? Stay safe, healthy, below abiding, remember virtue grace, the African storyteller. I'll see you in my next video.